Okay, hi everybody. Welcome back to the final part. All right, so we're going to open this up. So you've got your, um, your lid and we pull everything back. And that's the bottom section here. I've already covered it in designer paper. So what we will do is you're going to create a belly band and that's going to be eight by seven and score half an inch at either side. Okay, so we're going to stick that down because I've already got this. Uh, let me see, tape down. Let me get this one. Okay. I'll quickly do this one. Okay, perfect. Now, after we finish this tutorial, I'm just going to go off camera, decorate it, and then I'll do a full video on it. Okay, so we're going to, we are going to adhere this down. Now, you want a border on either side because you're going to be able to slide a photo mat under there. Okay, so make sure you just got it lined up nicely. It's not on the edge on the score lines or anything. Okay, then I'm going to, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, before I put my designer paper down, I want to put my flip on there. And that is going to be 11 and 3 quarters by 7. And you're going to score it at uh, six and three quarter on this side. All right. Now I've added magnets already. You want the shorter part to be on top. Okay. And then I scored it. Then I didn't score it at half an inch. I actually put a hinge on the back of it. Now, because you'll get a lot of off cuts of making this album as well. Um, use your bits and pieces left over for hinges for this um, album. Uh, let me see where am I going to go with this one. Uh, I think I was going to... No, I wasn't going to put that on top. Oh, all right. So I'm just going to take this off. Hopefully there's enough light. It's nearly six o'clock. We've got, we're officially in spring. We've started spring here in Australia. It's said to be a um, few warm days, but not too hot, thank goodness. Oh, I hate the summer. I <laughs> I'm not a summer person. All right. Uh, um, what are we going to do with that one? That one I need to have... This definitely not a summer person. Although I do like the sunshine, I've got to admit, as long as it's not warm, or like too hot. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that do like the heat. Just can't do it. My hair ends up looking like Medusa, I tell you, it just freezes crazy. Like, I've got thick hair and it's long, but I'm telling you now, <laughs> that baby and humidity just do not chill. All right, so all I've done here is gotten a strip just so that I can um, cover this part up, only because we'll be putting a pocket across. All right. So I'm just going to put that. Alrighty, let me find, I'll be able to see that and kind of center that as much as I can. Then once we've done that, you will need a piece of cardstock. It measures at two by seven. You score it at half an inch and five and three quarter inches. Okay, now once again on the back, 
when you score it at five and three quarter inches, you are going to fold it back on itself. Then you're going to turn it around and put a little hinge on the back. Now with this, we're going to be creating a pocket, okay? This little piece here, the back of it, is going to have a magnet, all right? So there's that piece. So I'm just, that's two by seven, score it at half an inch and five and a quarter inch. Okay, so I am just going to take that tape off and I'm just going to put that top layer okay all right now this will be a slip through pocket I call it a slip through pocket it could be a belly band whatever you guys want to call it I call it a slip through all right so I'm just going to pop this to one side for a second what you will also need is take all my papers off you'll need a piece cut at four and a half by four okay then you will also need where are we I think I'll put it on the back a piece cut at eleven and three quarters by four score it at two and a half inches and nine and a half here okay so they're gonna close in all right what you will do on one side on let you know which side this one is on the two and a half inch side you're going to fold it into the heading for the center you're going to put two little hinges on here because we're going to essentially be creating a pocket then you're going to flip it over and you're going to put two hinges on the back here and that's going to create our pocket all right so what i'll do is i'll take those off okay so which way is that i want my pocket to go this way my flip Lining it up with the edge there. All right. Then I'm going to grab my piece here, which is going to be my pocket. And I'll just take this off. I think I did plan it so that goes on the inside. Sorry, I keep on going off camera. I'm sorry. Let me zoom it out a little. I'm going to do the back of it or the front of it depending on what um, part of the paper you want to be seen the pocket side I might I'm going to use this as my front okay all right then what I will do is everything out the way okay. then I'll take these little um, bits off here from the hinges I'm just going to add my pocket my top layer and that's going to create my pocket now what you want to do when you've done this too you want to grab some wet glue and try and line it up as best as you can too I've shot mine. You want to add some wet glue and you want to put it in the inside here, okay? And that's going to seal it up and create your pocket. 
Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is put on your pocket. Yeah, flip. So I'm just going to cover the inside for a, a second and I want to get that done first. And once you've got them cut out, it's really easy. I mean, you can take your time and um, to embellish and decorate your, your pages. But if you go step by step along, it just makes it so much easier. Okay, I want to cover the inside as well. I'm just going to put all my excess over there for now. Alrighty. I'm just going to put that there. That looks about right. Everything over. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is put on that little band that we've got here. Now I'm going to take this off because it contains my magnet there. All right. So I'm going to take off the um, tape off the back of those hinges. All right. And I will center it as much as I can. All right, then I'm going to take the sticky or this part here off, and then I'll stick it down to here. And once I've done that, I'm going to slide it off. Okay. Then I'm going to put the little square. These little squares were part of the collection. They had a 12 by 12 sheet with, I think, two by twos on there. And I just cut them down. Okay, and that will go on there like that. And then I've got a piece of... Now, this paper here, this is just left over tea stained um, papers that I had done. The tea didn't take to it too well. And I thought, well, you know what, rather than wasting it, I'm going to put it in the album. And it's also good for journaling spots too, because it gives me somewhere to journal. All right, so that holds it together. Then what we'll do is we have a pocket here. All right, and then to open it up, we can flip that open and that open. How cute is that? I'm going to put another journaling spot on the inside here. All right, and then. Alrighty, beautiful. So we got that down now. And then what we will do is, I know it's got an orange in here all of a sudden. My light is just heating itself up. So there might be a bit of a shadow. It's getting a bit dark out there. All right, so we've got that. We've created a pocket in here and we've got a slip through pocket there. And then we've got another pocket up here. And that flips open so we'll have some room for our photos then we will go over to where our belly band is and we will glue this down now i didn't do anything to the back of this or here because i wanted to add a magnet all right so i'm just going to turn this upside down just so that i can Get that on top there. All right, make sure it's all level. Okay, perfect. Now, I've got to find me magnets because I did have them here and of course I can't find them. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, perfect. this magnet part off the magnet part of the um, the backing off the magnet I'm gonna pop it there for now and then I will take this off 
and I'm going to flip that down make sure it's sealed on tight and then I'm just going to grab everything and slide it off then I will add this on top then that will help keep our magnet secure Just try and center that. I can't really see it. That's about right. There we go. Okay, there's that part. And then we'll have this part here. And that will cover that part over. sure this is the right way as well because it's kind of directional paper and I don't think I cut that right I'll have to trim it a little just give it a bit of a trim because I don't think I cut it down enough that's okay How great does that look? Oh my gosh, it finally came together. All right, so I am just going to decorate the inside here, put my tags in, decorate this part because I need to add a magnet as well. And we will come back for a flip through at the beginning of these tutorials. So what I will do is link all the tutorials in the description box under the full video of this one and obviously they'll be uploaded separately as well thanks again for watching um if you like this video please like subscribe and share i would really appreciate that that would help me out so much um if you are with me have been with me welcome back if you're new welcome to my channel and stay tuned for lots more projects guys i'm having so much fun with all this all right have a happy scrappy week and we will see you soon bye